Hello everybody, Music Theory 1. This is video number 15. Today we're going to be talking about Roman numerals for common diatonic seventh chords. This follows up on our numerals for common diatonic triads, and we're going to be covering the same kind of information for seventh chords that we did with triads. Let's get right into it. Diatonic chords means that we're working within the key, within our major or minor key, and here we have our D major scale, the same one we used to look at all our major, major triads. And just like our triads, if we stack up thirds within the major scale, because the interval pattern of a major scale is fixed at whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, we're going to have the same kind of chords show up over and over again, regardless of which major key we're in. And if we know which chords to expect, it can save us a little time analyzing these chords. We won't have to analyze every seventh chord we see. We'll be able to just look and say, oh, it's a seventh chord built on two. The quality must be minor. Or a seventh quality built on seven. It must be half diminished, etc. Let's look at some of the qualities that we see in the major key. Here's some of our diatonic triads. We'll start by remembering that 1, 4, and 5 are all, all major triads in the major key. And so if we were to add sevenths to these chords, we have two possible seventh chords that we could find with major triads on the bottom. We could have major seventh chords, major triads with the major seventh above, or we could have major minor or dominant seventh chords, major triads with a minor seventh above. We'll see some of each. The first one we're going to look at is the 5-7 chord. When we stack a 7th chord on our dominant, on our scale degree 5, we do get that dominant 7th, that major minor 7th chord. You can see I've labeled it 5-7 with my Roman numeral, my lead sheet symbol A7. This is the most common 7th chord we see in all of tonal music, 5-7. We see this chord over and over and over and over again, and we hear it all the time. And so we want to recognize it when we see it. The 5-7 is always going to be a major minor 7th chord in the major key. 1 and 4 are going to have different qualities of 7th chords. Let's take a look at those. 1 and 4 both are major 7th chords. They both have the major 7th rather than the minor 7th above their root. And so you can see that in my numeral I've labeled them as M7, 1M7. That capital M is necessary to differentiate our major 7th from our dominant seventh chord. It's something that's really, really easy to overlook. So don't forget when you see these major seventh chords to label them as M7. You can see my lead sheet symbols. I do the same thing. I label major seven to make sure it's clear. These are the seventh chords we find on one, four, and five. The, triad, the chords that have major triads on the bottom. We have two major seven chords, the one major seven and the four major seven, and one major minor seven, the five seven. Let's look at our minor triads. We have three different minor triads in the major key. The two triad, the three triad, and the six triad. What happens when we add a seventh to each of these triads? All of our minor triads become minor seventh chords. They all have a minor seventh above, and so we have the two seven, the 3-7 and the 6-7, all as minor 7th chords. You'll see that I've kept the lowercase numeral, but I've just added a 7 to indicate that we have a 7th chord here. Let's look at our 7 triad, which is a diminished triad. There it is, 7 diminished. We know that we have two options when we add a 7th to a diminished triad. We could have a minor 7th above the root, which would give us a half diminished 7th chord, or we could have a diminished 7th above the root, which would give us a fully diminished 7th chord. Let's see what happens when we add the 7th diatonically from our major scale. We add a B natural, and that gives us a minor 7th above C sharp, the root of this chord. That gives us a half diminished 7th chord. We have 7 half diminished 7. And you can see I've notated it with my lead sheet symbol there, C sharp half diminished 7 as well. Note that only 7th chords can be half diminished. When we talk about the 7 triad, we're always going to be calling it a diminished triad. It's only when we see it as a 7th chord are we going to start calling it by its name half diminished. This gives us all of our diatonic 7th chords in the major key. We have one dominant 7th chord, the 5-7. We have two major 7 chords, 1 and 4. 
We have three minor seven chords, two, three, and six, and we have one half diminished seventh chord, the seven half diminished seven. Let's take a look at what happens in minor when we have our seventh chords. Okay, we've switched modes to D minor here, and I have jumped right into the common diatonic triads that we find in D minor. We remember from our triad talk that there are a lot of different triads we can find based on the harmonic, melodic, and natural minor forms of the scale, and this is still true of seventh chords. I'm not going to go into every possible seventh chord like I did in triad. There's more than I care to talk about right now, though your text can give you an exhaustive look at what the possibilities are in chapter three. What I do want to talk about is the seventh chords that we're going to be encountering most frequently. Let's get started again with our major triads. Here they are three, five, and six, and once again we have the option of having both major or major minor seventh chords. We'll see some of both. When we add a seventh to our five triad, in minor we get another dominant seventh chord, another major minor seventh chord. This chord is the same in both the major and minor keys. Both of them are going to be spelled the same. Both of them are going to have that dominant seventh chord, major minor, and so 5, 7, A7, how I've notated it here. Notice that just like the five triad, we're using the version from the harmonic minor scale that has the leading tone raised in it using a C sharp in this case for our key of D minor. What about our other major triads, three and six? Both of these chords are not major minor, they are major seventh chords. And so we have the three major seven and the six major seven. And you can see once again, I've notated M seven in my numerals to make it clear that I am talking about major sevenths rather than major minor sevenths. F major 7 and B flat major 7, my lead sheet symbols up top. These are the seventh chords we'll find most commonly above the major triads. In our minor key, we have two minor triads, 1 and 4. What happens when we add a seventh to them? Both become minor seventh chords. 1 7 and 4 7, both minor sevens. You can see D minor 7 and G minor 7, my lead sheet symbols. These are the seventh chords that we will find most commonly built off of scale degree one and scale degree four in the minor key. You will notice that that one seven chord does not use the C sharp from our harmonic minor scale. It uses C natural from our natural minor scale. This is the version that we're gonna see most often. Had, if we had that C sharp, we would have a minor triad which a with a major seventh above it, and that's not a chord that we see too often in tonal music. Let's finish with our diminished triads. We now have two diminished triads in our key, our two diminished and our seven diminished. What happens when we add sevenths above them? Our two triad becomes a half diminished seventh chord when we add that seventh in the minor key. The D natural above E in this particular key, again a minor seventh. And so when we see two seven in minor, by far the most common version of the chord is a half diminished seven, two half diminished seven. What about seven, our leading tone chord? What do we have there? Here we have our fully diminished seven chord. The B flat is a diminished seventh above the root C sharp, and so this is a really striking sonority in the minor key, the seven fully diminished seven chord. And with that, we have labeled all of our most common diatonic sevenths in minor. Again, I want to stress that there are other versions of these chords that show up in music, versions from the melodic minor scale and the natural minor scale, and so sometimes we will find different qualities. However, these are the ones that we're going to see most commonly. These are the ones we're going to be looking for. These are the, going to be the ones that we use in most of our writing, and so we want to become somewhat familiar with them. All the common diatonic sevenths in minor, the one minor seven, the two half diminished seven, the three major seven, four minor seven, five seven, six major seven, and seven fully diminished seven. That about wraps it up for our Roman numerals for common diatonic seventh chords. In this video, we talked about all the seventh chords we tend to see in diatonic music. Good to remember which ones show up where. If you know the triads well, then there's only so many options for our seventh chords, and we just have to remember which sorts of sevenths show up where. 
most of the music we analyze this semester is going to be triad focused. And so we're not going to see these chords too much right away. But as we go forward in music theory, we will see them more and more and more frequently. And so it's best to be familiar with them as soon as possible. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. It was a fun one, wasn't it? Have a great time, and I will talk to you guys next time in class.